Hey, boys and girls. Okay, math today. I can relay, I can rationalize absolute value and order of integers. Absolute value, you'll hopefully remember, is the distance from zero on a number line. What I write, you write. Absolute value is distance from zero on a number line. It could also be thought of as the magnitude or how much something changes. Magnitude changes and order of integers. So order, we mean like least to greatest or vice versa, greatest to least. And integers, integers are any positive or negative number. Or zero. Any number that could be put on a number line is an integer. So, rationalizing absolute value and order of integers. This is a pretty basic lesson I think you'll find. Let's look at the success criteria. First of all, find the integer that it's talking about. That's the number. Look for indicator words. So when we were talking about integers, um, some words indicate positive integer. For example, um, if you have a credit applied to your account, um, if you um, climb a mountain and ascend, climb a mountain, if you um, gain or if you gain or deposit, those are all indicating a positive integer. Um, likewise, some words that indicate negative are um, debit. That would be a negative integer if it said a debit. You could descend, go down a mountain. You could lose or you could withdraw. There are many, many other indicator words, but these are some of them that we will use often. Okay, find the integer. Look for indicator words. Plot the integers if necessary. You have number lines to, that are printed out. Um, consider the absolute value of each integer. So that's the distance from zero. Order the integers, or sometimes it will ask you to order their absolute values. So let's move on to our worked example. This says, so, um, sorry, this is a little bit backwards. Okay, find the integer, 0 0.4, 4 tenths. The integer is 0 0.4. Look for indicator words, rise. That means an increase, so I know that means positive. We don't always write the positive symbol when it's a positive number because we assume it's positive. Okay, um, I could plot the integers if I wanted to. I could write the absolute value. Okay, so fall of 2100s. Fall means a loss. 2100s. And then finally, a rise of one tenth would be a positive. One tenth. So the three integers that I'm working with, four tenths, negative 21 hundredths, and one tenth. If I want to order, um, I'll write the absolute value. Um, the absolute value of four tenths, you would notate that with the brackets, is zero and four tenths. The absolute value of negative zero and 21 hundredths, the, these brackets represent 
the absolute value of negative 0 and 21 hundredths, and the absolute value is 21 hundredths. The absolute value of 1 tenth is 1 tenth. So if I want to, oops, I want to order these with the absolute value, least to greatest, I'm going to do 1 tenth, least to greatest, 1 tenth, then 21 hundredths, then 4 tenths. Because these are absolute values. <laughs> The distance is from zero. This one's negative, these are positive, but if we're looking at the how far away from zero, this is the closest, this is the next closest, this is the farthest away from zero. If we want to do just our integers, maybe the problem says um, order your integers. We've been doing that. We know the negative is the farthest left, followed by one-tenth, followed by four-tenths.